Madam President, Right Livelihood Alcast International Service for Human Rights and MENA Rights Group thank the Working Group for highlighting in the report that human rights defenders remain particularly vulnerable to arbitrary deprivation of liberty. We remain deeply concerned at the systematic practice of arbitrary detention of human rights defenders in Saudi Arabia, who are subject to persecution and prosecution only for exercising their fundamental rights and advocating for the dignity, equality and freedom of others. Hundreds of individuals are serving lengthy prison sentences on the basis of counter-terrorism and anti cyber crime law, which are systematically used to target any peaceful dissenting voices in the kingdom. Among those who paid a high price for daring to promote democratic reforms are Right Livelihood laureates Mohammed al Katani and Walida Bulher, who are serving respectively 10 and 15 years in prison on activism-related charges. Despite the working group's findings that their deprivation of liberty is arbitrary, they are still languishing in prison, subject to ill-treatment and medical and administrative neglect. Madam President, in 2021, with the spotlight of the G20 presidency fading, the authorities resumed their crackdown on free expression, handing heavy prison sentences to dozens of peaceful activists. We urge the working group to renew their request for a country visit as a matter of urgency, and we call on the Council to urge Saudi Arabia to reform the laws on cybercrime and counterterrorism to guarantee the right to freedom of expression and association to align with international human rights obligations and to release whole human rights defenders arbitrarily detained and provide them with compensation and rehabilitation for the harm suffered. Thank you.